Hello students, welcome to the next lecture of digital certificate. In this lecture, we are going to learn what is the concept of digital certificate. Who provides the digital certificate? Why do we need the digital certificate? And what is the significance of digital certificate? In the previous lectures, we've seen that encryption is the process of securing your data. With the encryption, we then provide the hash functionalities on the encrypted messages, which then increases the security of the data by providing more and more enhanced versions of the security. And for implementing the digital certificate, we take the help of the hash functionalities with the private keys and the encryption process. So let's begin with the concept of digital certificate. What basically the digital certificate is? A digital certificate is a digital that certifies the identity of an individual or institution or even a router seeking institution or even a router seeking access to computer based information. It access to computer based information. It is used by the certificate authority and the servers. Same provides a purpose as a driver's license or a passport. That means it access to computer based information and it is issued by the certification authority centers that is CAs and it serves the same purpose as a driving license issued to any individual by the RTO or a passport which is being issued to any individual by the passport authorities center. What are certification authorities? Certification authorities are the digital worlds equivalent to passport offices. They issue digital equivalent to the passport offices. They issue digital certificates and validates holders, identity, authority. Whoever the holder of that digital certificate is will be then proving its own identity. They embed an individual or institution's public key along with other identifying information into each digital certificate and then cryptographically sign it as a tamper proof seal, which then verifies the integrity of the message and that integrity of the message or the integrity of the data is verified within the tampered proof seal and for validating of its use. What is the process of obtaining a certificate? A subscriber or a sender generates a public key, private key pair. It then applies to certificate authority for a digital certificate with the public key and that's why it is said that a digital certificate is a certificate which is then used for making the public key authenticated of a particular user. CA verifies the subscriber's identity and issues digital certificate containing the public key. CA publishes certificates to public online repositories. Subscriber sign message with the private key and sends message to the second party. This thing we have already seen in the hash functionality where we saw that the sign has been done with the private key of the sender and when it is being received at the receiver's end, it is then decrypted with the, with the sender's public key. Receiving party then verifies the digital signature with sender's public key and requests verifications of sender's digital certificate from CA public repository that is what I just told you that whoever the receiver is that receiver will be then verifying the digital certificate of the sender which is then issued to the sender from the CA repository reports status of the subscribers certificate this is a process of obtaining a certificate wherein we can see that 
a bob bob's public key is then used for a digital certificate bob's public key is then given to the ca that is certificate authority and bob's identity information is also given to the certificate authority which then generates the digital signature and certificate for bob's public key is then signed by the ca and then it is being issued to the bob that is to the sender these are some of the types of digital certificates which are considered as a server certificate personal certificate organization certificate and a developer certificate what a server certificate is server certificate allows visitors to exchange personal information such as credit credit card number free from threat of inception interception tampering it is just an example uh, of sharing the information and to share your authenticity Certi server certificates are must for building and designing e-commerce sites as confidential information is shared between clients customers and their respected vendors personal certificates personal certificates allows one to authenticate visitors identity and restrict access to specified content to a particular visitor it can be considered as a role based portion wherein we whoever defines what type of the road will then be allowed to access the content so here also personal certificates allows one to authenticate a visitor's identity whoever the visitor is will have to authenticate its identity and then restrict access to specified content to a respected or a particular visitor personal certificates are perfect for business to business communications wherein we offer communications such as offering suppliers offering something partner controlled information or partner controlled access to special websites for you know updating products availability products shipping dates or for updating the inventory details inventory management portion and all and for these reasons the personal certificates plays a very important role for the business point now what the organization and developer certificates are organization certificates are used by corporate entities to identify employees for secure email and web based transactions whatever uh, the organization has set of uh, uh, rules or the code of conduct to provide a certificate so those certificates do has some specific purposes which are used by the corporate entities to ident to you know identify our employees for their secure email transactions and the web based transactions and at the same way the developer certificate also proves authorship and retain integrity of the distributed software programs if you take an example like installing a software on a computer system in most system in most instances which requires what is called as a serial key so for whenever suppose if we want to have the licensed versions of the softwares in our system also so we do have to have a serial key which is also considered as the legal key if you want to have any antivirus installed in our pc then you have to have a serial key of it to prove its authenticity to prove its authorship the same way the developer certificates plays the important role what does a what does a digital certificate contain a digital certificate it contains the name the serial number expiration date of the particular certificate the copy of the certificate holder's public key which is then used for the encryption of the message and digital signatures and the digital signature of the certifier so that a recipient can verify that the certificate is the real certificate some digital signatures conform to x.509 standards which are considered as some of the standards of the digital signatures how does digital certificate used for message encryption the figure here depicts it is a bit blurred 
figure depicts that message body is captured, then recipient's public key is retrieved, one-time session key is then generated, message body is then encrypted with the session key, that session key encrypted with the recipient's public key, then the session key is appended to the encrypted messages and then it is sent. So the appendment of the message, appendment of the session key with the message then provides you the digital certificate. Why are they used? They are used for main, they have four main uses. First one is proving the identity of the center of a transaction. Before the transaction or before the transmission, the sender has to prove its identity to the receiver or the sender has to prove its identity over the network. Non-repudiation, the owner of the certificate cannot deny partaking in the transactions, that is cannot deny participating in the transactions. Encryption and checking the integrity of the data, which also provides the receiver with the means to encode a reply. Single sign-on, it can be used to validate a user and log them into various computer systems without having to use a different password for each system. That means if a particular person is sign, signed in once in a particular system or if a particular user has signed in once if for in a particular server, then that particular user will not have to sign again and again for accessing all the services of that particular server or accessing all the data of that particular system that particular user will not have to sign in again and again with the different passwords so these are all the four main uses of the digital certificate why do i need a digital certificate because encryption alone is not considered as the uh, safe or encryption alone is not enough as it provides no proof to the identity of the sender and also, it doesn't provide any proof for the encrypted information. Also, used in conjunction with encryption, digital certificate provides more complete security solution. And it assures the identity of all the parties who have participated in the transactions over the network. Advantages of digital certificate. Obviously, it decreases the number of passwords a user has to remember to gain access to different network domains as I told you that once only the user has to sign in and then it can access the different services of the system or the different services of the domain or the different services of a particular server. They create an electronic audit trial that allows companies to track down who executed a transaction or accessed an area. So they do co create an electronic audit system also, which then allows or which then helps companies to track down these informations of the execution of the transactions or accessing of the areas by the different employers of their organization. Thank you students. I just hope that you might have got the concept of the digital certificate. Thank you once again.